Hey, what's happening fam? James Incognito here. Yes, uh, coming at you with another vlog. So check this out. We're over at the meat market and uh, we're getting ready to make some carne asada tacos. So uh, there's plenty of options here. We're at uh, Vallarta, so y'all can see we over at the uh, meat department. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is probably what we're gonna end up getting right here. But they've got a whole bunch of different meats that are all prepared. So like, these are all marinated, ready to go. And these are all cut up. Bro, these Salvadorian sausages are pretty fire, bro. But for today, we are here for the asada meat. So uh, let's go ahead and wait for our number to be called. And then once the number's called, we'll get going. Lego. That's okay, that's it. So it's close to two pounds. Uh, that's all we need. Now let's go get some onions and some other stuff we're gonna need, limes. All right, guys, so we're gonna need a little bit of a cilantro. So uh, let's find a cilantro bunch that's gonna work for us. There we go. Smells good. We'll take that. All right, so uh, now we need to grab some limes. So uh, let's grab like a pound. Maybe like a half pound of limes, not not too many. Looking for the pickled jalapenos. Yes, sir, bro. These have grown on me so much. So uh, I just need a small pack. Don't need that many. Where are they at? The Mexican brand. That's what we need. Might as well just get a big old can, bro. Shit. I like these. These sliced ones are nice. Oh, y'all know what I need. I'm gonna need a um, Jarritos for the tacos. You know what I'm talking about? So let's go look for the Jarritos. Bro, let's go. All right, so we got plenty of flavors. Mandarin, mango, Pineapple, sangria is pretty fire too. Lime, grapefruit, fruit punch, and tamarindo. Bro, let's go with the uh, strawberry for today. I know I love my Red Bulls. So, uh, two for 5.29, yes sir. Hey, yo, the peach flavor. Bro, this peach flavor is addicting, bro. Like, I don't even like it for the energy, bro. I honestly just drink it because it tastes like soda to me and I really like them. So, hey, shout out to Red Bull. Let's get started. Go. So, uh, let's chop up the uh, cilantro. Let's chop up the onion. All right, there you go. We gotta get this uh, meat mixed up and marinated. So, I got two pounds of meat. I'm only gonna make one pound and then I'll save the other pound for tomorrow the next day to make a torta. You know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna whip up one pound of uh, ranchera meat. All right. We've chopped up the onion, so I'm gonna save this fine chopped onion for uh, the tacos once they're ready. And uh, this onion, bigger, we're gonna uh, put that in the marinade. Cilantro is ready, we're gonna put that in the marinade as well. So uh, let's go ahead and season the carne asada. All right, you guys, so... Uh, Ranchera meat is really, really nice and thin, bro. Y'all can see it. Nice cut. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, season it a little bit. Uh, olive oil, tiny bit. This is how I do mine, by the way. You know what I mean? My carne asada. Y'all, fill in comments. Let me know how you guys prepare. All right, let's go. All right, so now we're going to get a little bit of uh, this. Until we've uh, kind of exhausted it. Let's go ahead and season out. So it's basically just gotta blend. Ooh wee! Yes, yeah, sir. Got him. All right, so. Uh, it. There we go. Ooh wee! All right, y'all. So now we're gonna put it in a container. Add some limon, cilantro, 
onions. All right, guys. Now it's all. Uh, all right, guys. Now that it's all pretty much ready, I'm gonna put it in a bag. That way we can get better uh, mix of all the seasonings. Let's go. Right, guys, we gotta let it marinate in this bag for about 30 minutes. All right. And then we're gonna put it on the grill. Fire it up. All right, guys. Steak don't need that much time. All right, we're gonna give a nice little char. Flip it over. For about I don't know two three minutes per side. It's almost ready to flip. Should look like. I'll let it go for a little bit longer, maybe another minute. All right, y'all, we're getting ready to pull this thing off. It's looking real nice. You don't want to overcook your uh, your meat, all right? So, otherwise you're gonna dry it out. So let's go ahead and put this in a little bit of foil and then chop it up. All right, guys, let's go in on these tacos. So first off, I definitely think my fire could have been higher for a little bit more of a char, but hey, yo, let's go. Bro, man, no lime needed, nothing. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Bro, the onion is a game changer. Oh, mm. all right, guys. So, do you have saw that meat? Oh, bro, do you have saw that meat? Perfectly seasoned with the lime, salt, and pepper. I know that, um. You know, the real asada got way more things in it, but it's what we're working with today. Mm. So the meat's super thin, not chewy at all, delicious. The, um, The um, salsa is spicy though. Mm. Yum. Yum. All right, guys. So for the meat, I've got two pounds. We're gonna cook one pound. It's about nine bucks. Um. Not bad at all. <sighs> Salsa is spicy. Mm. All right, guys, I will say that the uh, ranchera meat is blessing. I think it's um, much better than the other meats that they offer for the asada. Yeah. Going on this last asada taco. So, starting a fire and everything was probably the longest thing of the cook, you know? But when cooking the meat, bro, you only Need a few minutes per side. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh wee. All right, Charles, going on his last bite.
Vem. Xis! Ah, oh, man, that salsa <sighs> was definitely spicy. All right, y'all. So let's talk about tacos. Tacos was delicious. <sighs> salsa is getting me. So. Oh, bro, the seasoning was great. Pepper was perfect. This, the, ooh, that salsa was spicy, man. I know I already said that. But the uh, meat is definitely on the thinner side, bro. It's not chunky. It's not beefy. You ever have carne asada and you sit in there chewing? Arr, 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 arr. Well, that's because it's not, not ranchera. Ranchera is going to be super, super thin, bro. I'm telling you, that meat was delicious. So, um, Y'all make sure to pick up your skirt steak or ranchera. Try your tacos with that meat, bro. A little salt, pepper, lime, onions. Let it marinate for some. I think some people put beer in it. I didn't put no beer in it. I have done that in the past before. But, um, hey, if you guys got any tips for me, put them in the comments. And uh, next time we make these, bro, ooh, yeah. we can whip it up that way. But, hey, yo, y'all stay tuned because with the other half of the um, asada that I have in the refrigerator, we're going to make a uh, asada torta. You know what I'm saying? So y'all stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like and comment. You know what I'm saying? We'll catch you guys on the next one. Let's go. Yes, sir.